guys. Welcome to the first uh, video in a series of lessons that um, it's just going to teach you some very basic guitar, um, give you some drills to practice, and just hopefully try and get you better at guitar. So this is aimed at like uh, complete beginners. So um, I'll be playing on a classical guitar for now. I may be playing on an acoustic or electric later, but for now we're going to start out on a classical guitar. So uh, I'm going to just assume that you're a complete beginner here. So on the guitar, you want good technique on both the right hand and the left hand. Um, if you're left-handed, just switch everything over. So on the left hand, you don't want the thumb too much over the top. You want it just towards the top here. Um, and just keep it nice, Any, anything that's comfortable. And it's probably going to correspond probably near your middle finger, so it's going to be clamping like this up here. And the fingers, when you're playing, you want it to be nice and curved, and make sure that it's only you're playing on your fingertips, and it's only um, touching one string at a time. You don't want to be muting the other strings unless you're doing that on purpose, <coughs> if you need to mute that string. But you want to just have nice curved fingers and just a nice relaxed hand when you're playing. When you're fretting on one finger, you don't want to have these... Um, cramped up. In fact, um, I sometimes have trouble with my third finger. My pinky will sort of tense up. You want to keep it, your fingers nice and loose while you're playing on the different strings. Okay, so obviously the guitar has six strings. Um, the name of the notes are E, A, D, G, B, E. Um, that's what you're going to be tuning to, and you always want to make sure you tune your guitar and get your ears a little more adapted to it. Um, I just replaced the strings on this guitar, so chances are it's going to be dropping out of tuning rather quickly. Okay, so here, I'm going to give you the first drill that I want you to practice. Uh, I'm using jazz three picks. Uh, just play with whatever picks you want to use. I know that the Dunlops are pretty popular. So uh, let's go over the the pick holding technique here. Um, basically, let me see if I can get a better angle here. But you want to have your hand just. You, I'm going to be teaching you how to hold it with two fingers. Um, your uh, index finger and your thumb. So this finger is just gonna. If you want, think of it like as a, almost like a 45 degree angle on your index finger and your pick's sort of going to go over it like this and then the thumb's going to pretty much come down on top of it like that alright so so what we're going to do here is just first start out with a very basic picking drill just to get you comfortable with it and remember it's not going to be your arm moving when you're picking it's not going to be this movement while you're picking like this it's not going to be like that it's going to be an emphasis on the wrist movement up and down so some people like to plant their pinky on the guitar. Other people like to plant it on the bridge. Uh, me personally, I want to keep it more free, so I don't normally usually plant. Normally, sometimes I'll plant a little bit and meet the upper strings on top of the string like this. Or sometimes I'll just leave it free. So here's the first try. I want you to just start on the high E string, just open, and I just want you to alternate pick, which is basically up, down, up, down. Uh, make sure you get keep practicing that. You don't want to just be going down, 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 down. Because up, down, up, down, you can uh, play a lot flas uh, faster that way. So just on the bottom, I mean the highest E string, I want you to just um, practice getting nice, consistent picking. All right, so let's make a little drill out of this. I want you to just play this string, e, uh, I mean the high E four times. Just one, two, three, four, and then go on to the next string. Now, just to get that picking, you need to get used to just having this down up down and just built into your hands so you don't really have to think about it while you're playing. And then um, the second drill, which is for your left hand, what you're going to be doing here is um, from here, I'm just going to tell you the fret numbers here the first fret, second, third, fourth fret here. So, what I want you to do is with the left hand, just first finger um, on the E, 
a low E, first fret, and just pluck that. And you're gonna be alternating picking here. So it's one there, and then second fret, second finger. Third finger, third fret. And then fourth finger, fourth fret. And then you're gonna go on to the next string, back to the first finger, first fret. And go back up. Next string. Make sure you're keeping those fingers nicely curved. And it's, um, try and get it comfortable. Next string. So once you've gone to the uh, fourth fret of the um, high E string, what you can do is simply shift your whole hand over one fret. So now you're on the fifth fret. And you're going to go backwards, so it's going to be four, the pinky, there, there, there. And then you're going to go on the pinky back on the fifth fret of the next string. Just keep going. Next, uh, next string, fifth fret, pinky. So now when you're here again, you slide it back up. One, and go back up, and you're just going to keep doing this. And just keep your rhythm nice and consistent. Just take it nice and slow if you have to. Okay, so, and you're just gonna go all the way up the, up the neck. I would just go basically as far as you can because you wanna practice playing on these high frets as well, like up here. So that's your first roll. I want you to play that a couple times a day if you can. And it's just gonna get both the hands synchronized with each other. And just, you're gonna work on the picking and you're gonna work on the fretting as well. And a little tip for fretting, you wanna go right behind that fret, because that's the least amount of effort and the best sound that you're going to get, so right behind. So, right behind it, as you start going back out, you're going to get this fret buzzing sound. So you want to go right behind the fret, get a nice clean sound. If you, and if you push down too hard on the string, you're going to uh, push it sharp a little bit. You can sort of hear it. So you just want to have a natural amount of tension. You don't want to over push on the strings. It's just to make a hand tire and make it uh, go out of pitch. So what, I want you to keep doing that drill just up the neck. And once you get a little bit better, and I want to make sure that you're keeping it nice and smooth, you're going to pluck the next string right as you change on the notes on the left hand. You don't want it. Nice and smooth, just as you change the next note, the left hand and the right hand are nicely synchronized. Go as slow as you have to get it perfect. Alright, so once you do that, um, as you get more advanced and you get a little bit more comfortable with it, I want you to just double. Um, pluck for each note, so it's going to be one, one. So for each string, I'm plucking down ones and up ones. So it's... But I want you to try and keep the rhythm consistent that if your uh, quarter, I mean your whole are just like this, you want to keep the timing the same on the left hand, but you're just plucking twice, so you're going to be going faster. Like. Once you've got that, and then you want to move on to three, which is another good practice because the alternating is going to be changing from up and down. So it's one, two, three.
French, you're going to get to four. Alright, so after that, um, which drill should we want to do? Alright, so I want to keep practicing that and get it nice and consistent. Um, and it's gonna, it's a nice warm up drill that I normally do when I first pick up the guitar just to warm up your fingers and your picking hand a little bit. <coughs> so uh, I guess I'll teach you your first song. Um, I believe that most people will probably start out with, as their first song, is Smoke on the Water, so I'm just gonna follow the same tradition. So, Smoke on the Water is <coughs> a really easy song. You're going to be only on one string, which is the uh, low E string. So, it's going to sound uh, like this. It's just something fun to play instead of just drills over and over again. So, uh, here, let me teach it to you. It's going to be the open E string. Just open, and then you're gonna fret the third fret, and then the fifth fret. Now, just a little drill here. Don't just use one finger and jump around on the fretboard. Use all all four fingers if you can. So it's gonna be open three five. All right, and then it's gonna be open again, and then three again. And it's gonna be a little bit quicker here. It's gonna be six five, one after the other. So six five. So let's go over what we've learned so far. It's going to be open, three, five, and then open again, three, and then six, five. One more time through. It's open, three, five, open, three, six, five. And then the last time we're through, we're going to go open again, three, to five, and then back to three, and then back to open. So let's play it through once. Open, three, five. Open, three, six, five. Open, three, five. Three, open. And you just keep repeating that little riff over and over again. And you've learned your first song now, so congratulations. And uh, if you get comfortable with that song, I'll just teach you one more song here so you just have something to work on. It's gonna, it's uh, Come As You Are by Nirvana. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so how that's gonna be is gonna be open, open on the low E string, and then one, so it's open, open, one, two. And then you're going to be hitting the fifth string here, the A string, which is the second string up here, if you're counting from this way, or it's the fifth string from the bottom. So it's open, open, one, two, on the low. Then you're going to alternate with this note, and then the fifth open. So it's going to be... All right, so let's go to that. One, two, open, open. Then hit that one one more time. Back to one. And then open. And you're gonna hit the second fret on the A string, which is the fifth string. So it's gonna be. And then you're gonna hit the low E string twice. And then you're gonna hit that um, second fret, fifth string one more time. And then you start it again. Okay, it's open, second fret on the E, open, second fret on the E, back to the first fret on the E, open on the E. Then an A string, second, fret, and then low E twice, and then once again on the fifth string, on the second fret, and then you start it up again. 